Okay, I'm gonna try to show you guys how to um, replace the uh, shaft solenoid, uh, the boot on it. Replace it because if it's all deteriorated and rotted and all that stuff. So, well, first step would be to remove the shaft solenoid. You can see it there. There are two bolts holding on. There's this one there and one on the other side there. Okay, that's the first step. Oh, and of course the size of those two bolts are eight millimeter. Okay, well once you get those out, then you have to go underneath it. Yay, so I get a good picture of it. And where is it? Oh, there, right there. You can see there's the boot. On mine, it's still great, but you can see the cotter pin. You need a next step would be to remove that cotter pin. Okay, cotter pin's removed. And I'd just like to mention that I find that the uh, Dodge Ram uh, cover plate, valve cover thing makes really good place to put your little bolts and stuff so they don't roll off and even when you shake around the truck and whatnot. Okay, then next step would be to uh, grab this guy, slide off the shaft and pull it up. Actually, the next step would have been to unplug it, but there's normally a clip right um, on that guy that clips over that. It's normally a clip, you have to push up, push up the clip and whatnot, but well, mine kind of broke, so I don't have to worry about that. There. So it's still annoyed. Okay, now we got it off the engine. Um, so the next step would be to cut the uh, this little zip tie. Now, again, I don't need to replace this. This is actually in very, very good shape. I'm just doing this for demonstrational purposes. Okay, so you cut that. If you care about the boot, be careful. More careful than I was. If you don't, you can just, you don't, doesn't matter. You don't have to worry about cutting this guy at all. If you're just throwing him out, doesn't matter. Okay, so the next step would be to, um, well, you pull that off and there's a spring in there so it's going to want to come off too. You can see there's a bore. If you want to clean that up while you're at it, it would not hurt at all. Okay, then you got spring. Don't want to lose that. Again, the radiator also makes a really good holding thing for your bigger stuff. Okay, so then you just got this. You just pull it out. You kind of go inside out and you just... Now you just kind of pull it up off the um, nut in there. It's like a little uh, divot or um, notch that it fits in. See, and it just comes right off. You didn't have. You don't have to lose your adjustment or anything. There. See, everything's still adjusted just how it was. It's actually a pivot thing in there which makes sense. Anyway, so then when you put it together again, very simple. You have first grease this. Okay, so then you put the spring in, obviously. Spring on, this guy in. And here's a trick, okay? Let me bring it up here. So then do it nice and simply. Right back. Turn on the key. Try and get that hood up. Nope. Slipper out here. Grab the plug. Plug it in. And snap it up. Now you don't have to worry about that stupid spring anymore. You can see, that just compressed the spring there. And so then, you put it on. You peg it. Like that. Of course, you put it over this guy. You just put it back into the notch there. There's that. And this guy here. It's a little bit of a pain, but that spring being compressed and staying compressed really makes life a little easier. And like that. Fits in that groove nicely. Now you just unplug it. 
and there you are. No adjustments changed, so you just put it right back on. You don't have to adjust it, but if you've never adjusted it before, now would be a good time to do it, and it wouldn't hurt to check it. So we'll do that in just a bit. Okay, I got the zip tie back on. Oh, you can't really see. There, you can kind of see the zip tie's on. And so I'm just going to put it back in its hole down there. You just, orientation doesn't really matter. As long as it's, the two holes line up. But, okay, I just got the, uh, the, uh, the oh, thing slipped on. Now we just get the, the uh, cotter pin here. Okay, as you can see, I just got the uh, uh, cotter pin on. Now, you just put those bolts in, semi-loose. You can see the holes. Same thing as just remove. Same thing as removing it. You just do everything backwards. Okay, as you can see, I got the uh, bolts. Not all the way tight, but maybe about an eighth of an inch until they are tight. So what you do now, now this is for testing the um, shut still to make sure it's, uh, it's adjusted correctly and it's not too loose which would not give you full power or too tight which would make it so your truck won't uh, start so you just you plug that guy in and the really simple way would be to turn on the key and just give it a quick bump like that obviously my battery's a little low so I didn't want um, uh, crank over very fast, but that soft solenoid should be up. If it's not up, it's just too tight. Okay, mine is up, and you can see I got just a little bit of play up here, just barely anything. That means it's adjusted perfectly. If it's if uh, there's a lot of play, even though it's up, see right now the key's on, so. Uh, it's getting held up. So if if there's a lot of play, then you need to tighten up that shaft down there. The uh, that shaft right there. You got to tighten it up. Get it there. Just tighten it up. Otherwise, uh, to get full full uh, rack travel. If it doesn't want to click up and it just falls right back down, that means it's too tight and it's trying to lift it up too much and so it doesn't work and it just lets it fall back down again. Right, my, right now mine is just a little bit of play. I mean it takes a little bit of muscle to muscle around but it sh should be just about perfect. Okay well I got the um, bolts all tightened up. I got the cotter pin on as you've seen before and I got it all plugged in so it's ready to go. Now my if I were to go in there, turn, the, uh, turn out the key, it would start if it had more than one battery and it wasn't so stinking cold outside. So, um, I'm not going to show you how it would start because it won't, but if I had one more battery, it would start up great.